Mm. What, what do you think, Boris, what do you think? Because obviously Roger uh, Federer is, has adopted that style a little bit. He's coming into the net a lot more. He's serving and volleying a lot more on clay. Uh, first of all, what do you think the match should look like for him against Nadal on clay? Well, first of all, I'm happy he plays clay and uh, the style he plays really frustrates everybody else because they don't play like this anymore on clay. They don't have the, the drop shot, they don't have the serve volley of the second serve, they don't hit off the first or second shot for, go for a winner and I think because of that he's surprising a lot of people and that's the way he should play Nadal. Now, I really want to ask your opinion, Rod, uh, uh, in, as, a, as a serve and volley player and somebody that's friendly to, to Roger, I mean, how, what's, what's your take on, on the strategy? How should he play tomorrow? You know, I, I think he... No, no, I think he'll he'll get to the net. Yes, he'll he'll do a lot of drop shots because you know Rafa's way back there deep returning serve, and you know, she may, he may he may actually do a little short short uh, serves yeah, because yeah. you know what what what's the use of banging it all the way back right, sure. and he's got a shot here perfect and but the element of surprise I think from mm. yeah Roger is going to be. In, 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 in a great position because he's learnt this drop shot now. He even drop shotting on a, on a, on a second serve yeah. mm, that yeah. I saw against Marinka. And so now I'm, you know, you're looking, well, how, what, what's he going to do? Oh, that's Bjornborg, so I have to switch <laughs> it up. You're not now. <laughs> but he's, you know, you know I, I think it'll be a good match. I really, yeah. I really do. I think, uh, you know, Rogers, you know, his, his ground, his, his, not his ground strokes, but the way he gets to the net. Yeah. But then he, then he, when he volleys the ball, which he's playing, doing well, he reverses it and goes right back where the second serve is coming from, mm. and he go, he doesn't go to the open court oh. for the volley because oh. that allows them to run. So that that puts you know, Roger at an advantage, disadvantage, mm -hmm. and so I think. You, you'll notice you, he'll go right back beside him, yeah. and he's not ready to put that shot. Then the second ball, he'll he'll open up and, and hit it for a winner. Mm. And I think that's 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 the most unusual thing that you see, you know, from Roger is he's not trying to make the guy run necessarily, oh. but he's putting him off. Mm. And 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 of course he's volleying beautifully, you know, nice and deep into the corner. Mr. McEnroe Mr. has joined McEnroe. us. I mean, I know it's better late <laughs> than never. <laughs> But I had to just be able to sit next to this man once again for even a couple of minutes. The, uh, well, my idol. Oh, a you. lot of people's idols. Well, you know, I was busy playing a big match in the uh, wow, doubles. Did you? Yeah. did you win? I wouldn't have brought it up if I lost. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So what have I been missing? What have you been uh, we no, figured pontificating out how Roger, about? We, we, Roger, how Roger could beat Rafa. I want to hear yeah, that. Yeah, he figured that yeah. one Tell out. Tell me how that on clay. How's that going to happen? I, I, you know... That's a, that's a tough one, because yeah, you know, Rafa's got that huge forehand, and I think because Roger decided he he couldn't play this high backhand, yeah, you know, against uh yeah. against someone like you know uh, yeah you know, playing against Nadal, so you know he's learned how to play it a little differently, but he went with a bigger headed racket, and and so now he he can hit that ball yeah. up high. And, and get it down straight down the line on the ad court. And so that, that allows mm. you know, him to get that first shot is not going to Rafa's forehand. No. He's got to, now he's got to use that backhand. So now Roger's got a chance to do shots. What's he going to do with the serve, that lefty slice serve on the ad court? Because he's had issues with break points with Rafa, and <laughs> you sort of know it's coming. Yeah. How aggressive can he be or should he be? Well, I, I, th I think he'll always be aggressive, you know, mm -hmm. and, and now it's, you know, how far, how, but, you know, the, the, the clay court, yeah, you know, yes, you can make them slice serves, but, you know, a lot of times you've got to be able to pick when he's going to slice it. And, you know, I think a lot of people, you probably saw a lot of people play juves, but they couldn't pick your slice serve. Yeah, you know, and so, you know, I, th I, th I would think on, on the clay courts, you know, uh, uh, finding a, a guy to say, well, he's going to slice this ball. Yeah, you know you're going to slice. It's going to hit the ball. It's going it's to bounce up some. And so, to me, I, I, do, I wouldn't think he should be worrying too much about that slice serve. 
But if he is, if he is then he's pulled you off. I, I think I'd just go back across court. Stand further to the left, right? Don't sure. let him cut him off. Yeah.